for the sign of Leo, hello and welcome to my channel. For the devil card, if you were in a long-term romantic relationship, one or, or both parties may have gotten to the point where they felt as though they were trapped in the situation. If you were getting signals that that was the case, you needed to talk about it, and if you wanted to save the relationship, that's what you really, really needed to do. Now, this card also sometimes appears when there is really nothing to be done but to end an unhappy relationship. We all have choices. Take steps to keep the magic alive. You can also try to do that. Um, if you were seeking love at that, at that time in the past, this may have been a signal that you've reached the point of desperation. Okay, and that's pretty much what the devil card says. And it's paired with the king of cups. Now, with regards to love questions, when the king appears, the news is very good. Now, there are a few cards that are more loving than the King of Cups. If you are looking for a love or a relationship, this can indicate someone who is very balanced and loving, they're headed your way soon, or they would have been coming towards you at that time in the past. Now, the tarot, uh, it it shows in the picture that the person would have had hair coloring on the lighter end of the spectrum. But it does not have to be. It could have been uh, someone who did not have lighter hair. But with this card, when it comes up in a reading, the King of Cups, it's about a person, you're dealing with a person who has light hair. And that's what the King of Cups represents. But like I said, it doesn't have to be. Uh, but just know that the king, it bodes very well regarding love. And keep in mind, it's a very good news card. Okay, and then that's the past. Now let's move on to the present. We have the three of swords. Now with the three of swords, in, re in regards to love questions, Um, this card does not have to be the end of a relationship, but it does almost always point to relationship difficulties and some pain. Now, in order for the relationship to survive, both parties must be, must be willing to work on and talk about the relationship. You might find that someone you thought cared about you is not as loving as you had supposed. But just don't take it too personally or dwell too long on any pain or sorrow if that is the case. Now you are being guided to a relationship that is right for you. Just remember you can't force something to be right. And it's paired with the world card. With the world card, if you're traveling during this time period and you are in the market for a relationship, you may well meet someone while you're away. This will be true even if the travel is only locally and not very far away. So don't be afraid to mingle and talk to strangers. Conversely, if you have been in a committed long-term relationship for some time, you're more than likely to find it rising to new and better heights. Things in the love department should be going quite interesting for you now, but in a very good, positive way. With these two cards paired together, the Three of Swords is just letting you know that it's not the end of a relationship, but it points to relationship difficulties and pain. 
And for it to survive, you need to talk and to communicate. It's paired with the world card. Uh, travel during this time period is, is showing that you'll meet someone while you're away. So if you're traveling, uh, maybe just to the grocery store, it doesn't have to be far. Uh, it's possible that you'll meet someone during this time. But you have to make sure you talk to people and be friendly. Uh, don't keep your head down. <laughs> Smile. Uh, the world loves a happy person. Uh, it's paired, like I said, it's paired with the Three of Swords. So, if you decide to end the relationship, you'll definitely meet someone new. But if the Three of Swords is the saying that it's not the end of a or it's not the end of a relationship. It's just there's just some difficulties that need to be talked about and discussed. But um, uh, it looks like it turns if it, it it does turn around for the better because the World card is um, is about just working on the relationship. And uh, it says that if you're single, looking for a relationship, it could rise to new and better heights. So that would go for if you're already in a relationship too. It could turn for the better. So just if you have any problems, uh, as mentioned in the Three of Swords, just work on it because with the World card, if you uh, work on it, it could turn out for the better. And then if you're single, you want to take a trip, go somewhere, even if it's to the park, because it's saying now is a good time you'll meet someone while you're away. And that's the present. And we move on to the challenge. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Now, with regards to love, the Seven of Pentacles points to things going very well for the person you have your heart set on. If you are not in a committed relationship, you need to be open to other possibilities. Um, just know that none of us have just one person that is the only person that we can be with and have a deep, soulful, happy relationship. Don't give in to feelings of suspicion or fear. Just know that all is well. And it's paired with the Six of Pentacles. Now, if you're already in a committed relationship, the Six of Pentacles, it points to a happy generous, fair, and balanced relationship for at least a while. So allow your lover to give to you. And at the same time, make sure that you are doing your fair share of giving to the relationship. If you are unattached but looking, when this card shows up in a reading, you are likely to meet someone new who is positive, kind, and generous. Now this may come about by way of introduction from someone you know. So make sure you let people you let make sure you let people know that you are looking for a partner. With these two cards paired together, the seven of pentacles, it's pretty much saying that it points to things going very well for the person you have your heart set on. And if you're if you are not committed, um, just be open to other possibilities. And it's paired with the six of pentacles. Uh, it points to a happy, generous, fair, and balanced relationship for at least a while. So just remember to practice give and take. Uh, allow your lover to give to you, and make sure at the same time you're doing your fair share of giving to the relationship. And if you're single, it's now's a good time that you most likely meet someone new who's positive, kind, and generous. And that's gonna be the challenge. Now we move on to the outcome. We have the Eight of Pentacles. With the Eight of Pentacles, If you're currently in a committed relationship, your workload or that of your partner may be interfering with the relationship. 
make it a point to make time and space for the relationship regardless of your jobs otherwise things will suffer if looking for love the appearance of this card showing up in a reading it tells us that you are actually too focused on money and what you do for a living to really create space in your life for a new relationship. Consider your priorities and where your time and energy goes. If you want love, make sure you have room for it. And that's with the Eight of Pentacles. It's paired with the Three of Pentacles. Now, in regards to relationships and love questions, the Three of Pentacles is a very good card in the tarot. Particularly if you already know someone that you're interested in. Now this tells you that they see you in a very positive light. They're very attracted to you. Uh, they see you as someone who has all the qualities that they've been always looking for. Although the love or although love has not quite fully developed yet. So there is a need for patience. If you're unattached and single but looking for love, this card indicates that you are more than likely to meet someone. It could be through work or through, through their work of the person that you're meeting. So you have to keep your eyes open. And with these two cards paired together, the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, if you're if you're in a committed relationship, your workload or your partner may be interfering with the relationship. Your workload or that of your partner may be interfering with the relationship. Okay, you're gonna need to make time and space for the relationship if you want it to work or it's gonna suffer because with the three of pentacles, uh, your partner sees you in a very positive light. It's someone that they wanna be with and you have all the qualities that they're looking for, but it's, it's saying, it's showing that the relationship could suffer because you or the other, you spend too much time at work and you're not focusing enough on the relationship. So if you don't want to see it go down the drain, uh, make sure you put some effort and time into the relationship. Just as much as you are putting time into work, or it's going to suffer. It's going to suffer. It's going to 